Welcome to Bible Answers. Today we have a concerned citizen who writes, How is it that you can think you are following God when you pray and when you read the Bible, but in the end you find out that you were not following God, but in fact were unknowingly worshipping Satan? So how do you deal with something like that? Now, fortunately, the Bible has some interesting things to say on the issue. The Bible says, the time of ignorance God winks at. So if you follow your scriptures and you live according to the Bible dictates, and then at some later stage you find out that you were actually not following what the Bible says. For example, the Bible says that the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God, and on it you should do no work, but you should worship on that day and keep that day as a rest day, because on that day he created you. Or as it says in Deuteronomy chapter 5, because he redeemed you, took you out of antitypical Egypt into his wonderful light. Now, if you suddenly discover that you have been doing something which is contrary to the Bible, this is where this text comes in, where the Bible says, the time of ignorance God winks at. We serve a very merciful God. We don't serve a God who's standing over us with an ax head, just waiting to obliterate us when we make a mistake. He takes our humanity into account. And that is why the Son of God became man, so that he could identify with our humanity and our weaknesses. And also there's no such thing as beanbag Christianity, where you have this little icebreaker with children where beanbag is thrown from one to the other, and the first one says, my name is so-and-so, the next one catches the beanbag and says, my name is so-and-so, and so the bag goes round, and people get to know each other. Now, many have this concept of Christianity. They believe that when they have repented of their sins, they're now walking with Jesus, and he holds us, this beanbag, safely in his hands. But when we fall and we make a mistake, then he throws the beanbag to the devil, and now I belong to the devil until such time as I repent. And so the beanbag goes backwards and forwards between the two. There's no such thing in Christianity. So as we struggle through life and stumble and fall, it is not the stumbling that is the issue at that moment. It is the intent, the direction in which we are moving. It is not that I willfully wish to fall awry of God's word or of his commands, but it does happen to all of us. God mercifully takes that into the account in the package deal. And as long as I'm committed to him and walk with him, then I'm covered by his righteousness.